Doge has said they have a, a very ambitious plan to transition essentially the entire IT infrastructure of the Social Security Administration from uh, COBOL to, was it Python, to uh, Java? Java. Java. Yeah. Uh, and this is every technologist I've talked to said, this is, you know, with all the resources in the world and you know, throw the brakes out the window, you could maybe do this in, in a couple of years. Uh, they're talking about doing it in a handful of months, I guess, with the, the power of AI. Uh, most of the technologists I'm talking to are saying, you know, this is, this is kind of scary. Uh, we don't think you can do this that quickly uh, without breaking stuff, or at least without an unacceptable risk of breaking stuff. Uh, I can say that Social Security Administration is a hell of a place to start, um, that perhaps it would be better to start with some agencies that aren't depended on by 70 million seniors first and try to kind of get your sea legs and, and build processes. I admire the ambition and we do need to modernize Social Security's computer si systems, just like we need to modernize Medicare and Medicaid. But it's, it, you can't shut down the agency for six months to do this. You got to do it while you're running. It's going to be complicated. I would prefer they do more bite-sized, smaller initiatives, do it, break it up, and do it partially. And also, frankly, bring in some people who are maybe a little better at this than what we've seen thus far. I'll also add that there are some real issues right now with how they're doing their social security plan with these half-baked announcements right now that... If if you want to if you want to retire into Social Security, you need to do it online or go down to Social Security. You, you know you're telling 80 year olds that they have to use social media and apps to, right. to, to look up Social Security. I mean, my mom is 78 years old; she barely knows how to turn on a computer. There is a real risk that going about this in the wrong way could blow up on them so badly that it sets back the course of federal IT modernization for years. you got to be smart and careful, as anybody who watched the Obamacare rollout in 2014 can tell you. 